It's me, Benjamin, and today I'm back, finally, after almost a year, maybe even over a year, depending on when I get this done editing. Oh, but I am back. Oh, man. I'm sorry, I couldn't do that Halloween voice forever. Um, oh well. Anyway, hi, I'm Benjamin. Uh, dude who didn't know mascara doesn't come off easily and then did his own, and, or uh, eyeliner, I mean, oh man, it... It's rough, and I'm sure you can see it. Uh, but, <clears throat> yes, hello, y'all. Uh, this is fake blood, you know, fake blood. And today we're gonna do a horrifying sponge. A sponge so terrifying, it's not even that good at its job. And, oh, I also wanna say, it has been about one year since what happened. A whole big event. Big enough to fill a movie. Oh well, uh, wait, sorry, I, I was about to get started, but, do you guys hear that? I hear something at the door, I'm gonna go look at that. Sorry, this is really weird, I, I don't know what on earth is going, is someone, is someone opening the door, no, okay. Okay, this is freaky. Okay, I'm just, I might edit a bit of this part out. This is weird. Hello? Hello? Hmm. Oh, oh, hello. Oh, okay, come in. Come in, sir. <laughs> hello. Sir, if you don't mind me um, asking, what was that you got there? This is a knife for, for you. Uh, your, your head zone? Yeah, I want to I wanna stab it through your head zone. Your lovely, lovely head zone with this whole being stabbed thing. I, I, I would like to do that to your head. Yeah. Oh. Oh, no. Okay, I ran up here as fast as I could. That was, um, I, this is real blood now, not fake blood. I mean, there's still some fake blood in there, but it's real. Oh, boy. Whew. That guy, whoa, don't know what that was all about. Well, I'm glad it's Halloween and, you know, whew, uh, okay, um, well, uh, sponges, they are a beautiful thing, and I've heard a tale about this sponge. They say, 100 years ago, there was a man, and his wife, was very ill. He went far and wide searching for some sort of cure to her disease, but he could not find any. When he came back, she was green. Her eyes were rolling back slowly over hours. He had to find something. So he ran and he ran and then he found witches. And he, he did not believe in magic or the occult, but he was so desperate, he went with these witches anyway, and they promised him they found, could find a cure. He ran to his wife, and he gave her that cure, but he never read the fine, fine print on that bottle, because the fine print said that it would work but you'd have to sacrifice something to the witches within ten days. And he never came back. So the witches devised a plan for payback. They did not want to hurt his wife. That was not what they were there for. But he, they could attack him, yes. So they came up with a plan. Use whatever his favorite thing was against him. 
And his favorite thing was sponges. He loved them. He loved sponges. So they decided they would create a sponge that would erase whatever it touched from his life. It started with kitchen cabinets. Suddenly his house just didn't have them. And slowly over time, he forgot even having these cabinets or even his island in his kitchen. It just started disappearing. But then, one day, he accidentally touched himself with the sponge. And he slowly started to disappearing from the material world. He left, and he was gone. But then, they say, 90 years later, he came back, and he was with a vengeance. A sponge-based vengeance. To review all the sponges, to give them a place. Oh man, wish I could have met that guy. Sounds like a cool guy. Oh, man, that was a long spiel, I'm sorry. Okay, I might have to edit that down. Um, well, how about we actually get to reviewing this mystical sponge? Oh, man, uh, what, how old did that tale say the guy was? Fifteen or something? No. And then, could have sworn, it also said he would, he... He forgot all his memories because of the curse, other than Spun. Eh, that's just nonsense, I'm sure. Where did I learn that curse anyway? Oh, that story anyway. Dang. Oh, man. Oh, let's just get to a review, why don't we? Simply because of what works best for me at the time, I'm going to be using my own sink. Uh, let me make sure I get the sponge really wet. There we go. Okay, so... Uh, we have some fake blood splotches. Oh, wait, no, that's a real blood splotch. Okay. Um, we're going to clean those up real good. Maybe try to get this hair I cut earlier as well. Um, okay, it cleans up pretty well in the whole, like, actually cleaning department. What well, the issue is, is these bumps. So, apparently these bumps, like, actually scratch what you're trying to clean. You can see I cleaned it once, and you can already kind of see scratches. It's not that clear. Let me try up here. Well, you can't see them that prominently, but the thing is, you know, once you do it long enough, these scratches start appearing, especially on, like, pans and stuff, apparently. So, you know, I wouldn't suggest it for that exact reason. Um, I've just decided not to demonstrate too much, because, you know, I don't want to actually mess up a pan. I'm already messed up as it is. I mean, look at that knife. Ooh. I hear, I swear, I hear another noise. Okay, I'll get to the verdict in a second. Hello? Hello. I guess I can take this stupid thing off now. Um, okay, so... What is it you gotta tell me? I'm here to talk to you about the... Sponge tale. The man who came back... After 90 years. Oh, real? Oh, okay. So it was real. The story was real? Am I? Oh, no, 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 you aren't, you aren't the sponge man. The man isn't even real. The man isn't here, no. Oh, oh, it wasn't real. It was just a prank song played on me. Okay. Oof. Dang, imagine if it was real. But... Well, you see, when I said the man isn't, Real. I more so meant the man ha didn't come back, but something did. The sponge. He came as a sponge. Yeah. Stupid. But who are you, and why are you here? Why do you look familiar? Okay, well, remember you got arrested a while back, and then you fought arrest, and your best friend broke you out because the, the prison had a back door because we were dumb, and then you killed me uh, with sponges, but then you didn't kill me, and then I went on my days, and then uh, I did die, and now I'm a ghost, and that's why I'm familiar. Okay? Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Okay, I remember you. You're a ghost now? 
Okay, how do I bite off this sponge monstrosity? Well, there is a way you can kill it. It's not... What you have to do is you get, have to give a verdict on it, a life sentence. If that life sentence were, say, if we were ranking a scale of years and uh, it was like a weird negative thing, then it would be like, have to be under eight. And, you know, so, yeah, you'd have to give a verdict of the sponge under eight. But I know you're an honest man, so we'll have to see. I do that all the time, I guess. I sure. Sure, I can do that. I just have to find it and catch it and it could kill me. Oof. This could be even more of not fake blood. Totally not fake. Sorry I don't have my uh, hat on. I took it off for some reason. Oh, 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 oh what are you? Oh, all the spl- Ah! 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 Oh, you dare, don't you. Dare, don't you, dare, don't you! I'm gonna catch the... Okay. It actually just cleaned the blood off. That's actually pretty helpful. Yeah, well... Maybe it isn't evil after all. Ooh, it's evil. Okay, I gotta kill it. Okay. I got the knife out. Uh... Turns out you can just be like, knife is out of hedius and bam, magic. So I gotta kill this evil sponge for giving a review, a verdict. Okay, um, feel, honestly, it doesn't feel bad in your hands. Either side you're using feels nice. Not like a 10 out of 10. I'm trying to be more critical in reviews this season. Yeah, new season. Uh, so, I'll say 9 out of 10. Because, you know, that's more critical for me. Um, so, let's see. Uh, next, what we got? Uh, got okay, 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 I gotta act faster. Um, okay, so, uh, cleaning ability. As far as it cleans, not actually that good. I mean, you know, the actual scrubbing, you know, just cleaning part is good, but the scrubbing, I mean, is like, ooh, ah, not good. So, I'd say, 6 out of 10. Like, it's, half of it's very good, but the other half literally hinders instead of helps. So, yeah. Six. Maybe seven. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I think it died. It's, oh, whoa. I did it. I killed the evil sponge beast. Um, yeah, overall ranking? Uh, let's see. Seven? Seven, yeah. Just seven. Man, first sponge I gave a critical review to. I'm a real reviewer now. See, Mom? I know how to review stuff. Congratulations, you did great, but you have to remember what happened one year ago. Remem remember. Like, remember that day you walked out of your house to see them and that all went downhill from there, it all just snowballed. You remember that? Oh no, a cop! Stop! Ah! Uh, I'll, I'll, we already have your friend Will, but I'll get a deal with you. Oh. If, if you um, go to your house and stay there and don't make any more videos about Sponge Reviews, I won't take you to jail. Oh, okay. Wait, are you gonna check if there are sponges in my house? No. Oh. Maybe I should post that movie. Hey y'all, hope you liked that video. I tried to make it like goofy and how serious it was. Um, but yeah, uh, I included a scene from Sponge Review the movie. Uh, don't worry, it was recorded back when uh, COVID wasn't happening. Any of the scenes with other people in them will be pre-COVID. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, happening. Hope y'all like it, and I hope y'all like this video. It might be a new vibe for the channel after the Sponge Review movie comes out, uh, and I hope y'all enjoyed it. Have a good day. Happy Halloween.